Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm the GQ Jedi. If you're not already subscribed to me, blast the subscribe button down below so you don't miss any viable Star Wars content. Today I'm opening a box of Funky McClunky toys. That's right, he is a 3D custom action figure maker from Atlanta, Georgia, and I got my hands on a box of his goodies. I've shown some of his figures off in some other videos, but today we're taking a deep dive, so let's jump in. All right, guys, I'm excited to get into this box. Um, I've been talking to Funky McClunky for a little bit, and the guy does great stuff. He is an Atlanta, Georgia-based custom toy maker, and he has made a lot of great stuff. I follow him on Instagram. Um, his Instagram account is at Funky McClunky. That's F-U-N-K-Y-M-A-C-L-U-N-K-E-Y. And the guy does amazing stuff. Check out his Instagram account. Um, basically, he's a 3D printer, uh, custom action figure maker. He basically started um, during COVID, um, had a lot of free time on his hands, and he was doing a lot of tinkering, made a lot of you know custom toys for himself, adding, filling some holes in his collection. And he got into 3D printing, he learned learned how to do it and just started making stuff for his own collection and then things kind of branched off from there and like I said he does amazing work uh, making a lot of stuff in the Kenner style and as you know that's that's where I live and breathe so I uh, I've been following his stuff and and if maybe you guys have seen some of my other videos I have featured a couple of figures from Funky McClunky in um, other custom uh steven's videos actually if you guys have seen uh, my f the uh, videos i've done for steven steven is another gentleman who's a follower a subscriber of the channel loves watching the channel and he has made a slew of figures for me on his own time and some of those figures were funky mcclunky 3d prints um and so i have shown some of the work before but i really wanted to get my hands on some actual just do a video about funky stuff so I, I got a bunch of stuff from him ordered some stuff and i really wanted to take a closer look and just focus on funky's work because like i said he does amazing stuff for 3d printed um action figures they're they're sublime and i honestly prior to steven sending me the figures that he sent and having one or two of funky's figures in there i had never had put my hands on a 3d printed figure before so it's been a quite quite a uh, pleasure to see what funky stuff is really all about and today I'm taking a deeper dive into the man's work so let us let us take a look at uh, what we got here um, he sent me a letter hey man hope you enjoy these figures friendly reminder that uh, though I use a resin recipe that makes them as durable as possible take care when moving the limbs since resin is unfortunately not as strong as plastic which is true, you might have seen my video where one of the pieces on the uh, staff of the Nico, Nikto Guard uh, broke, and it, I think it happened during shipping. So they are 3D printed, they're not as strong as a factory made plastic um, mold. Um, so you do have to be careful with these 3D printed things. Same warning for putting accessories into their hands since the figure's thumbs aren't as bendy as factory made plastic. Okay, he's listed what's in the box and he has uh numbered them all so let's let's do this one by one guys god i'm so excited because like i said i've seen all this stuff not all of his stuff but a lot of his stuff on instagram and he just keeps churning out more and more figures please please guys go check out his instagram account funky mcclunky um yeah, what this guy does not making you don't need to have i mean he keeps churning out all the classic hits that we wish we'd gotten and i i'm so I'm, I'm just super stoked to be involved, uh, you know, getting my hands in, in the custom clay, so to speak, because there's a lot of great stuff that people are making. And it is uh, just awesome to see what customizers, what fans, what you guys are all doing out there. Well, let's see what we got here. So this is the first figure. And this is a unpainted Jabba Goon Skiff Master Weequay. Wow. This is awesome. Got a little bit of weight to it. It being resin, it's not like plastic like he said. Um, but as you guys can see, wow, this is awesome. This is awesome. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a little sniff test here. Hmm. 
And it doesn't actually have like a super strong scent to it. Um, I know it seems weird, but you know, I love smelling toys. <laughs> Call me a weirdo. I've been called worse, certainly. Um, but this is awesome. I mean, look at the detail. This is 3D printed resin. So freaking cool, man. Like somebody did this at home, made this at home. I mean, look how great the work is. Look at that. Viroax staff just looks Kenner, baby. Looks absolutely Kenner. Look at this Weequay. Gorgeous, gorgeous figure. And again, being very careful. The limbs do move, but you got to be careful. Um, you don't go crazy with him. You certainly don't drop this figure. God knows, uh, you know, uh, heaven forbid, should the leg break off. And he does, he does do his own coup. Funky McClunky 2022. I super dig that, man. There's even holes for foot pegs. So awesome. So awesome. So, as I might have told you guys in an earlier video, I wanted to get my hands on more of these figures and I, I might want to get into painting figures. And so that's why I got some unpainted stuff because I wanted to see, maybe try my own hand at painting figures. And Steven, uh, the other customizer who I think just now is starting to take commissions, um, he doesn't do 3D printed, he does his own um, boil and pop head swap you know the guy's a mad scientist in his lab he does his own thing he doesn't do 3d printing but he takes existing Kenner figures and chops and swaps and cuts and paints and swap you know just it's crazy what he does um, and as, after seeing his work you know I was like man made this painting stuff looks kind of fun so anyway funky McClunky's figures typically nowadays they're all unpainted they come like this and so he, you can buy the figures unpainted and then you can paint them yourself however you want to. Um, and I think I'm going to take a stab at it. I think I'm going to take a stab at it. Get some, um, I believe they're acrylic paints, I believe is the kind of paints that he uses. And just go to town, you know, practice makes perfect. Maybe I'll try it out on a beater figure first so I don't botch up this figure. Um, but at some point when I have some time, um, I, I'm thinking of maybe, maybe I'll give old, old Leatherface here a, a good old paint job and, and see what happens. Um, this is such a beautiful figure. I'm kind of nervous because I don't want to f it up. You know what I mean? Like this is such a great looking action figure. Um, I'd hate to uh, completely sh screw the pooch and and you know do a bad paint job. Um, and if I do do a bad paint job, I don't know if I'll, you guys will ever see it. <laughs> I don't think I'll ever make a video and be like, yeah, here's the weak koi I, I screwed up. Um, so, but yeah, man, I'm just, I'm super impressed with the detail. It's just, look at that. Gorgeous. So much detail. Just a beautiful figure. The hair, the face, especially the, the tunic, the, his, you know, his jacket. It's just great, man. I absolutely love it. And as Funky was saying, got to be careful with the thumbs. It can break off. So I'm going to be very gentle, very gentle when uh, putting these in. Just kind of finessing, finessing this in a little bit. Of course, I'm, ugh, I'm super nervous to do it. But there it is. Oof, oof, oof. So there it is. It's in his hand. Can't hold a weapon. But look at that. Even unpainted, it looks dope. I mean, ah, I love the weight behind these resin figures, too. Um, I just, it feels like it's, you know, a sturdy, like it's, uh, you know, it's got some, got some, some oomph to it. Like, you're not going to break it. However, can't drop this. You got to be careful with these guys. They are, they are fragile. So let's treat them as such. They are collector's items. Even, yes, I say collector's items because they're custom and they're Star Wars. And to me, they're collector's items. That's how I treat all these toys. I treat them like they are, you know, like they belong in a museum. That's why I, I try to seek out the best possible figures for my collection. I, uh, I want only the best if I can help it. And I treat them like they all belong in a museum. To quote Indiana Jones. That belongs in a museum. You know what I mean? Like, just got to have things protected and, and preserved, as it were. All right. Here we go. He, we got number two figure. And this, is, oh, snap. 
Wow. This is rad. This is rad. Holy moly. So here we have a painted figure, which is none other than Luke Skywalker Dagobah training. Holy smokes. Holy smokes. Wow. I'm super stoked to get this. Oh, man. Dagobah Luke. Check him out. Wow. This is awesome. This is awesome. I, uh, I love it. I love it. I love it. So he's taken his own mold, his own 3D printed figure, and he has painted it for me. Thank you, Funky. Dang. Love those biceps, man. Those, those look legit. It looks, I mean, Mark Hamill, he was ripped, man. Like it or not. Empire Strikes Back when... When old boy took his, uh, you know, his jacket off and started sweating around Dagobah, he was ripped, man. He he definitely had hit the gym. Mark Hamill hit the gym before shooting Empire. And uh, this figure, this figure looks it, man. Look at those shoulders, look at those shoulders. Look at, look at those biceps. Heck yeah! It's not that a lightsaber is heavier or anything because you're only holding the hilt and the, the sword itself is pure light. So, uh, you know, it's not purported to be a heavy get this saber out of here without breaking it it's not reported to be a heavy uh heavy thing so you don't need to be too masculine about it but yet you know it being the movies and you you know you're going to be taking your shirt your shirt off or looking a certain way you got to look the part and if he was scrawny looking we wouldn't buy it as much so that's all i'm saying and and hamill hamill uh he looked the part and this figure definitely looks the part oh my gosh this is gorgeous so he's made a bespin luke head Taking basically a Bespin Luke head and stuck it on a new, made a new body. I mean, so sick, dude. I love this. This is an awesome figure, man. And he's included a blue lightsaber, um, which is just beautiful. In the Kenner style, if you guys can see that. You can see the printing, the printing marks, but so cool. And I'm going to be real honest with you guys. This is the first blue lightsaber I have my collection i actually don't own a um jedi luke kenner jedi luke uh blue lightsaber I, I don't it's one of the ones i still have to get if anybody's got any blue lightsabers out there from the kenner collection you want to donate to the channel please let me know they're not easy to find um and i would love to get my hands on a on a blue blue uh blue lightsaber for one of my action figures so this is actually the first one this is actually the first one. I'm super stoked about it. Man, I just, I love the detail, man. And, and again, making figures we never got. Never got a Dagobah training Luke. So money, dude. This is so money. This is such a great figure to, to, to have produced. And I'm super stoked that Funky painted this up for me. Because this is one figure I wouldn't want to screw up. Um, just rad, dude. I, I, I love... Love the fact that I've got another figure I can stick in my collection. Looks just like Kenner made it, and no one's the wiser. So awesome, dude. This is a winner, bro. This is a winner. Holes for the feet. Pure 3D printed custom action figure. Luke Skywalker, Dagobah training. Ah, this is awesome. <laughs> this is awesome. This is probably a huge popular seller on his site. Um, Funky has a site which I will list um, in the video description down below for you guys to check out um, where you can download the prints for the figures and print them at home if you have your own 3D printer or you can simply just order, um, you know, like as I was saying earlier, you can just order the figures from him and they will come like this. And if you're awesome at painting, you can get your, uh, get your Picasso on and, and do it up. Make Kenner proud. Man. Sorry, I'm gushing here. This is this is a winner right here, guys. <laughs> this is awesome. I mean, I love this. This is beautiful, but like, we always want. At least I always wanted a Dagobah training Luke. So I'm 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 getting kind of sweaty over this one right here. <laughs> this is a rad figure, man. Rad figure. Ah, this is absolutely going in my Dagobah um, Dagobah playset shelf. 100. percent This is rad. This is super rad. Like. 
Just love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Looks great. Looks absolutely great. Um, and and just like not only the 3D printing, like the details are there, but the paint job is there. Now you see what I'm saying? Like you got to have a steady hand. You got to know what you're doing and you got to have just patience. Patience you must have. Yes. Mm. You know, you got to have patience to do this stuff. There's no rushing. You don't rush through. You know, once you put in your... Your, I've never 3D printed. I've never even seen a 3D printer yet. Might might get one eventually. Um, but as far as I know, you know, once you put in the coding for the figure, it scans. It the machine does its own thing. But once you get it out, there is no more rushing around. Like you, you assemble it carefully. You know, you you're not you don't want to snap off any thumbs. You don't want to like rush through the assembly. You don't want to rush through the painting. Are you going to get something that looks like slop job, like um, you know something that you got in an aftermarket overseas, you know, dark alley purchase um, situation? So anyway, this this is a beauty right here, absolute beauty. So once again, guys unpainted and a painted figure both 3d printed resin cast homemade straight from georgia hot atlanta oh man yes i say hot atlanta because i've been to atlanta um man it's it's sticky down there it feel it felt like dagobah when i was in atlanta last summer i'll tell you that i was there for my birthday and visiting a good buddy of mine and holy smokes it was dank it was dank all right, guys, let us move on to number three because I've got a couple more gems in here. All right, so three, oh, three is three. So three, there's actually two. Okay, so oh, this is so cool, man. Funky sent me a couple extra goodies in here I didn't know about, so that is... Um, that's super awesome of him. Thank you, brother. Appreciate you, dude. Was not expecting this. Holy gosh. Look at this. Okay. Look at this. This is he's got he made invisible figures. This is a princess Leia. Look how sick this is. Invisible princess Leia. Oh my word, dude. Oh my word. Look at this. Old school original Leia. 3D printed. And it's an invisible. Comes with a gun. Ah, oh, this is so cool, man. It's like I envision these like like it's first off check out this gun look at, the, look at the detail on the grip that's how that's how dialed up this stuff has gotten boys and girls Jesus not to be religious but Jesus thank the maker funky dang bro look at the belt look at the belt I so cool so yes he has included Leia and let's put old girl down here oh that's so cool man so he says just for fun two of my invisible figures han and leia awesome i've included these because i know you like this series when i posted them on instagram a couple weeks back which is so true when i saw these weeks and weeks ago um on his instagram account i was like dude those are awesome and they're like i said they look like they're made of glass rare rare things guys dude I'm, uh, I'm spoiled i'm absolutely spoiled i'm not gonna be shy about saying that you guys the fans my fellow members in this toy community you guys spoil me i love getting star wars toys the collection of cool random stuff like this that just can't get anywhere else is just it's overwhelming i love it i love it thank you funky check out this this is han solo old school han looks like Looks like small head Han, which is the one I prefer. Even though the big head Han, you know, looks more like Harrison. I think I still prefer the small head one. So super jazzed about this. And again with the blaster. Such detail. Just amazing. Absolutely amazing. Gorgeous work. Uh, uh. You know what? The blaster, though, I'm going to be honest with you. The blaster, even on the Kenner Han, is kind of kind of finnyish. It's kind of fickle. So I'm kind of, I, uh, I don't want to break it because I he mentioned made good point to talk about the thumbs. So now I'm like, eh, don't break it, don't break it. Um, so I'm kind of like hesitant to try to jam that in there. But 
I'm, I'm not going to because if it jams and it breaks on this video, I'm going to be upset and I don't want to show you guys a broken masterpiece. So for the sake of this video, I'm going to leave this off to the side. And but look at this. Princess Leia and Han Solo. Invisible figures. <laughs> They're kind of cool, man. They're kind of cool. I'm super digging this a lot. They're just... They're like glass, like I said. This is like a, what is the company that makes these glass things? Uh, Sawarski, Savarski, if I'm pronouncing it right. I've seen them. They make all kinds of glass, you know, figurines and, you know, jewel type things and super expensive, high quality, um, you know, knickknacks and whatnots, mostly for chicks, but uh, for women. But um, yeah, this is the Sawarski of uh, Star Wars right here, man. <laughs> this is awesome. I love it. I love it, dude. These are so rad. These are so rad. I'm absolutely digging the heck out of these. Um, so, guys, again, go on Funky's site. Go on his Instagram. Go on his website. Check out the stuff he's got. He's got, a, 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 what he's, I think he's got like over 200 files of toys, figures that you can print out, whether they be figures or their accessories. Um, he's got a plethora, a huge library of prints that you guys can uh, download. And, and you know, like I said, if you got a printer at your, at your house, you can print your own stuff. Um, just amazing. I absolutely love this stuff. And I, I'm super jazzed to share this stuff with you guys because I like I like to show off what other people are doing. I'm blessed and grateful to get stuff in the mail when I can order stuff or people send me stuff because like I said I can't buy it in a store I can't just go to Target uh, you know I can't go to Target I can't go to uh, you know some toy store and just pick it off the shelf um, this is a, these are homemade one of a kind can't get anywhere else and that stuff just tickles my funny bone and it adds to the uh, the Star Wars Kenner legacy you know it's extending life into the collection and having pieces that I've never gotten before don't have can't get anywhere else it's it's special um, and it's special because a company didn't make this this is like one man doing this you know um, and I dig the heck out of that I truly dig the heck out of that and um, like I said I like showing off what other guys are doing I don't make toys maybe one day I'll have my own you know GQ Jedi line of toys but not I for now <laughs> I'm just gonna enjoy what everyone else is making because you guys are killing it absolutely killing it and um, I love showing off what I get with you guys on the channel here and um, I, I want to support toy makers that are doing their own thing and I know many of you out there have never seen this stuff before so I'd love to showcase um, great quality work like this and um, you know just show you what's out there, you know, so you guys uh, can get get in on some of the action and enjoy enjoy the goods, as it were. And this, these are nothing short of goods. These are these are amazing, amazing stuff. I mean, ah, oh, look at this. We Quay got a best or a best spin, excuse me, a Dagobah Luke, Han and Leia glass versions, as I call them. So cool, man. So cool. Just. Look at that, you don't even know that, like, I just like it because it's like, you know, there's like the Force Ghost, um, the Jedi Spirits, and then you've got like this kind of figure where it's just like, ah, it's so cool. I don't know, I'm like a little kid. I'm like a little kid getting getting new new toys, new toys. I dig it, I dig it. Um, we have one more figure apparently uh, in this box of goodies, and before I open it, um... I will read you off what uh, what it says. Funky McClunky himself, my unofficial mascot. I've been making these in various color schemes and sizes and leaving them in random places when I travel. <laughs> That's awesome, dude. That's awesome. He, so he makes figures and just drops them wherever he goes and people just suddenly find this random, random Star Wars figure, which is awesome. Um, so he says he leaves them in random places when I travel. Feel free to keep him or leave him somewhere around your neighborhood where someone cool might find him. He's ready to party. Funky McClunky. How sick. So check this guy out. Just a random a random figure he chose to make as like his own official mascot, which is dope. 
Again, again, guys. Like you just, you just don't. Ah, you can't get this anywhere else. I love the ingenuity. I love the creativity. It just uh, it breeds excitement and happiness, in my opinion. And um, ah, it's just a joy, absolute joy, to see what you guys are up to. It's a great time to be a collector. And look at this dude. Look at this dude. How wacky, funny is this guy? Holy smokes! Just a weird dude, man. Just a weird pink looking. Looks like he used uh, um, uh, Lobot's arms with maybe almost like a, a Lando Calrissian body and then slapped on a Greedo-esque type head. Holy smokes. Funky McClunky. And this right here, kiddies, this says it all right here. Funky McClunky. This is his logo. This is his name. You can find him on Instagram just as it's spelled here at Funky McClunky on Instagram. Go online, go to the website, check out his stuff. This tells you this guy's all about fun. Could say Fun McClunky, you know? Funky obviously is his name, but like, I just see fun and I see funky. I see it, man. I absolutely see it. Um, this guy just knows how to have fun. He knows how to make cool, fun uh, toys, you know? Toys for us, uh, us big kids to play with and collect and display and, and and marvel at and i just dig the heck out of this man i really do again just doing his own thing doing his own thing and, and making something happen and here's the guy in, in in georgia 3d printing his own figures and here i am in los angeles opening up a box right now today and, and seeing another another dude's handiwork like his, his craftsmanship and and just the creativity again just Knocks my socks off, guys. Knocks my absolute socks off. Um, I'm just blown away at how <laughs> the stuff that you guys are making. Like, it, it really is. It's just, um, it's a blessing. It's, it's a blessing to be a fan now um, when, when technology allows 3D printing. And, you know, boil and pop customizing has been around for, for years. Um, I did it back in the 90s very briefly. Um, but now things have just, they've gotten just so much, I don't know. It's just, it's just there's more options now and, and figures like this are now possible. Just creating a brand new figure outside of a factory guys, not, not going to a factory, not paying thousands of dollars for one steel mold. Um, this is just doing it at home with a 3d printer. So cool, man. Um, hey. Oh man, this is a great box. This was a great unboxing for me. This was a heck of a lot of fun to open. Um, I I didn't know about these ones. I didn't know he was going to be sending, well, these three really. Well, some I knew a little bit ahead of time when I was talking to him, um, but uh, I didn't know 100% what was going to what was going to be in this box and he he definitely surprised me. Funky brother, you uh, <laughs> you you're awesome, dude. These are awesome, awesome, awesome pieces of work. Um, and, and as I was saying before, even if I didn't paint this guy, I, I think it looks dope just as is, because it's literally like a first shot figure to me. When I look at this figure unpainted or any of his figures, they look like the first shots. You know, the first mold, the first actual figure that Kenner made before they started to then mass produce, paint them and mass produce them. Um, like the official mold for the figure that they would go on to press millions of. Um, ah, just so cool, man. I'm, I'm, I'm drooling and just giddy as all get out right now, checking out all these figures. Um, thank you again, Funky, for for your time, your creativity, your uh, your your Jedi force powers to uh, craft and uh, create and craft these figures and send them my way. I do appreciate you, bro, so much for sending these to me. Um, ah, it's a pleasure for me to receive these and a pleasure to to show off your, your work to the community. Like I said, this is on Instagram and I will leave a link in the uh, description below so you guys can go to the uh, website and download and you know purchase and do what you need to do to get your hands on some of these gems. Just a joy. I know a lot of people, if you're not on Instagram, I know uh, some of my subscribers are not on Instagram whatsoever, so they're, they're just, you know, don't do it. That's totally cool. Um, but that's kind of where I became aware of Funky's work is on Instagram, so it was an instant gratification of looking at 
um, a catalog, a library, if you will, of toys that the guy was making. So it was really easy to, for me to see what he was up to. So if you're not on Instagram, just go to the website and, and, and check it out. And like I said, the link will be below for you guys. Um, but to finally get these in my hand again, like a collection of these, just, ah, this has been a heck of a, a, a day for me. So much fun. Again, I appreciate you, Funky. Just you made my day right here, brother. This is awesome stuff. And, um, thank you so much. I, I'm really just stoked. Absolutely stoked at, at what you're doing. Keep up the good work, brother. Don't stop. Um, you know, fans that don't know about you are definitely going to flock to you. I think once they've seen this video, I, that's my hope just to keep, keep you busy a, eh? and to keep, you know, churning out goodness into the community. That, that's, that's my hope. So, um, like I said, I was happy to, uh, happy to make this video and happy to receive this box and share with the community. Um, I think I think I'm gonna try to put Dagobah in this uh, in my uh, in my Dagobah playset setup. So um, I'm I'm really anxious to see what, how he looks in the setup. Um, so guys, whew, I think I need a beer. This has been epic. <laughs> And here, guys, we have the new Dagobah Luke on the Dagobah playset with R2 and Master Yoda. He fits in seamlessly. Look at that. He's gorgeous. Fits in seamlessly with the Kenner figures, the Kenner toys. Oh, my God. Funky McClunky. You knocked it out of the park with this one, brother. Jesus. Amazing. Absolutely amazing looking. Thank you, Funky McClunky. Oh, guys, what'd you think of these figures? They're pretty amazing, aren't they? I'm super jazzed to add the Dagobah Luke to my setup. Please check out the link down below so you can get your shopping done, so you can check out all the glorious stuff that Funky McClunky makes. Drop me some comments. Let me know what you think about all this stuff. I'm dying to hear from you guys what you think about all these custom action figures. Hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please give the like button a thumbs up to support the channel, and if you've not already done so, blast that subscribe button and hit that notifications bell so you don't miss any valuable Star Wars content. And remember, collect or collect not, there is no try.